What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs, day number 1332, coming at you, coming in hot. That's right, everybody. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, this is the channel for you to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. Get started right now. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any future updates. Seriously, I'll give you a second to do that. And of course, make sure to hit that like button real quick. Really helps me out. Doesn't pay me more. It just tells YouTube that people are enjoying the videos. So I'd really appreciate that. Takes half a second. So how many of you out there like delivering for these kinds of places? All right. <sighs> So check this out. This comes from Laura. So everyone say thank you, Laura. Seriously, say thank you, Laura. She says, hi, Pete. I just wanted to tell you this in case you didn't know yet. I was on the DoorDash site to order food last night. To my surprise, I saw they are now delivering for, ready for this? Drum roll, please. What is the place that DoorDash is delivering for? You ready? I saw they are now delivering for Dollar General. Oh, not a dollar store, man. Because people who are ordering from dollar stores or go to a dollar store are typically trying to save money. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. That's the purpose of them. But now to get it delivered, I don't know how that would be for tips. So Laura goes on to say, I haven't had an offer for there yet. But at least I know now it's coming. Walmart orders are bad enough, but I'm 100% sure we'll be shopping for these. Another $3 an hour move DoorDash. Ugh, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. We get a lot of these things first, i.e. Dash Mart. So if it's not in your area yet, here's a heads up. It's coming. Have a good one, and thanks for all your updates. So, Laura, really appreciate that. If you guys ever want to send me something, an update, or something for a video, or just have a question, send it to paytodrivestories at gmail.com. So, with that being said, how do I feel about this? Okay. Let's talk about some perks or pros here. And There's not a ton of them, but pros. I always like it when DoorDash expands their market and makes it so that there are more opportunities for delivery drivers to take orders, therefore to make more money. Because we know DoorDash is oversaturated with too many drivers. There just is. There's way too many. And they just keep hiring and hiring and hiring. And they're going to hire some more. And then they're going to hire even more than that. It's just the way their business model works. Um, with that being said, with that being the case... Um, I think the problem with this, like I mentioned earlier in the video, is that people who are shopping at these stores are trying to save money, okay? Whether they may be low income or they're just cheap, you know? I mean, I, I don't know what other way to put it. Um, people, I, I've been in dollar stores before where there's people pulling up in expensive cars that are buying stuff from the dollar store and people that are taking the bus, you know what I mean? Both are fine, but... The fact of the matter is this, if somebody is ordering through these apps, okay, we have problems with people leaving tips as it is, okay? People that are ordering food, you know, back, you know, in the day it was Chinese food delivery, pizza delivery, you know what I mean? Maybe some local delivery from a, a deli or something if they offered delivery service, you know, and you tip the pizza guy, you tip the Chinese food delivery guy, you know, whatever, you know, a few bucks, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever. It was just common knowledge. That's what you did. You tip the delivery guy. Now, you don't tip the UPS guy, the FedEx guy. You don't tip the mailman unless it's maybe a holiday or something like that. The part that I'm concerned about is people ordering from a dollar store are going to be thinking, well, I don't have to tip that person. You know what I mean? It's, it's a delivery service. I'm paying my fee for them to deliver it to my house, so I don't need to give anything else extra on that. It's a psychology thing. It's not like, you know, yes, I'm ordering through DoorDash, but I'm ordering 
objects. Nobody had to make the food. Nobody had to make the object or the, the things I'm ordering, uh, the items from the dollar store. They're just picking it up off a shelf and putting it in, in a bag and bringing it to me. You know, that's the psychology of some, not all. Again, I'm, this is, I'm not throwing everyone into that. I'm sure people will give tips, but I feel like the majority of people may not. Okay. And again, this is way too early to tell. This is just my opinion. I'm just making an assumption. You know, I could be completely wrong, but let me know if you agree with that in the chat or the comments. Do you think it's possible that Dollar Store or Dollar General or, you know, Dollar Tree, or do you think that these types of orders will warrant low payouts for the reasons that I gave, you know? Because again, we've been having trouble with people just leaving tips on food orders for years. So now that they're expanding and going to different stores, especially Dollar Stores, you know, I, I just can't see it being a great thing for payouts. You know, again, you're going to get those unicorn orders every now and then that have like a $15, $20 payout or whatever. And that's great. But I think in general, those are going to get rejected like crazy, just like the Walmart orders. So we saw the disaster with that. And she even mentions it in the email. So let me know your thoughts. Are you excited for these dollar general orders or are you not? Or are these just these dollars, uh, you know, dollar store orders? Let me know. So with that being said, I do want to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. These people give a little something every month. And uh, my way of saying thank you is I shout you out in all new videos and you have direct access to contact me and bypass my email. Uh, so when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. Links in the description or in the pin top comment. If you want to sign up, pick a tier and join the club. So we've got Lee Peacock. We've got Agus. Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul. By the way, Brian Pomeroy, I saw your comment the other day. I, didn't, I forgot to respond. I apologize. Uh, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hinor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilin, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu, Laura, Natalie, Mosley, Sarah, Keston, Scott, Freiser, Sherry, Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Jenny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G. Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. <sighs> Woo! All right. Gotta, gotta work on that. But anyway, thank you to all of you. Links down below if you wanna sign up. Also, what you should be signing up on for free, of course, is the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone. Any kind of phone you have, it works, okay? Uh, when you go to pump your gas at the gas station, use the Get Upside Gas app. All you do is pump your gas like you normally would, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you will get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it. All right, everybody. And of course, make sure to get all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies over at paytodrivestore.com. Lots of uh, designs and everything that's over there. I'm not wearing one today, but go check out what I have over there for you. Great quality, low prices. Everything's on sale. Paytodrivestore.com. Get yourself something nice today. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 205. End 205. Simple as that. Simple as pie. All right. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Hit that red subscribe button. It's free. Tap the notification bell so you always get notified every time I upload. And of course, Make sure to help me out. Hit that like button. It's free. Give it a second. Go ahead, go ahead and hit that like. All right. That's all I got for you, everybody. Until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Take care, drive safe, and we'll see you on the next one.